Welcome, and thanks for tuning in. In this video, we'll demonstrate how we've used Simulink to control a haptic device for teaching undergraduate system dynamics concepts. Haptic devices use the sense of touch to provide users with a sense of physical interaction with real or simulated systems. At Vanderbilt University, we've implemented a haptic device called the haptic paddle. The haptic paddle was originally developed at Stanford University, and several other universities have created their own versions. They're primarily used for teaching system dynamics, control theory, and mechatronics concepts. The Vanderbilt haptic paddle is controlled using Simulink real-time models and a low-cost Arduino microcontroller. The paddle is basically a force feedback joystick that allows the user to command a position and to subsequently feel forces generated by a model of a system. The paddle is driven by a DC motor and its position is measured using a magnetoresistive angle sensor. Communication with Simulink is handled by the Arduino microcontroller. Over several labs, students develop and use various Simulink models to control and interact with the paddle. For example, students use the paddle to interact with a virtual mass spring damper system. By using Simulink, students can easily see how the system model is constructed, can alter system parameters quickly, and can feel the system respond via the paddle in real time. To introduce control theory, students develop simple controllers in Simulink and test them using the paddle. Here, students add mass to destabilize the paddle and learn to program a PID controller in Simulink to stabilize it. These are just a few examples of how we've used the flexibility and transparency of Simulink to teach system dynamics.